Guys, welcome to Beauty and Belly. I so miss this. Kasi, sorry guys, kung may nagtataha ko matindi ako nag-upload. It's just that I'm busy with the schedule, but I just want to let you know that I'll be doing this regularly na starting from now on. I'm not sure the schedule, but um, once a week, I'll be uploading. And for today, we'll talk about... Oh, by the way, guys, Happy New Year! Merry Christmas! Kung ano na-miss ko, <laughs> sorry. Happy New Year, guys. So for today, we'll start with the makeup. Uh, or for this year, we start, we'll start with the makeup. And I've been using this foundation. Just want to share my thoughts with you guys. And that is... Fit Me Foundation, Matte pore Poreless Fit Me Foundation. So this is normal to oily, as it claims, and um, this is a gift from my mom. So I definitely love this uh, foundation, and I'll be showing you guys how do I apply it. And sorry sa sa pwesto ng camera kasi na, na medyo mababa siya. Kita kita niyo yung kwarto ko. So medyo mababa siya na sira yung stand ko ay yung a tripod ko. So, ang dami talaga nangyari. So, um, with without further ado, I'll go ahead and apply it. I'll, I'll be applying it uh, with uh, in two ways. That will be through brush and um, hindi ko na ko tawag doon. Basta, basta papakita ko na lang sa inyo. So, I'll be right back. So, I have my brush that I've been using. I know this is not a really for a foundation, but I definitely love this. Um, it came from a Kabuki set na nabili ko sa Shopee. Um, cheap siya, kaya itong, ito, ito lang yung so far na natry kong brush yung maganda. Kasi yung iba fail, dahil cheap nga siya. For 150 kwata siya nabili, isang set. And this one, this is what I'm talking about. Normally, guys, hindi ito dumi. It's a foundation since I've been using this. But probably after a few days, uh, dilinisan ko na siya ulit kasi kakalinis ko na saya. By the way, this is from my uh, Sansan Foundation. Hindi ko nang tawag dito guys. But ito yung ginagamit ko kasi hindi ako ready. Um, I'll let you know why. Kung ba bakit ko siya ginamit. So first, we'll do another uh, side here. For foundation using this one. And by the way, for this video, I have also uh, the Fit Me Concealers. I'll be applying that. And this shade is 220. Medyo ba dumay na siya? Ayan. So wala siyang pump. Just need to do it like this. I don't actually apply it directly. So, medyo na damihan. I hate this. So, yan. Um, while I'm applying this, I just want to let you know the reason why... Ay, sorry. Dapat para dito. Wait na lang. The reason why I don't use often brush for this foundation. As, I don't know if you can see, guys. Pero, tinan nyo. Parang, ano... Ano ba to? May... May mga stroke ng brushes. Parang, ah, hindi ko ma-explain. Hindi siya maganda tingnan. <laughs> alam niyo yung feeling, ay, alam niyo yung itsura na pag uh, apply mo ng foundation sa mukha mo, tapos may bakat ng brush, yun ang pangat doon. As, yan. Ay, yan. Sabi ko, hindi ko alam yung term dyan, pero I heard it somewhere. Stroke ba tawag doon? Shit. Nagkakalat yung foundation. So, I'm not sure kung ano tawag dyan, pero tingnan nyo guys, hindi ko na kung malili yung pagka ano ka ko. Pero hindi talaga nag-work sa akin yung brush. Bad. Ba't kayo hindi nag-work sa akin yung brush? So ayoko kasi ng ganun kasi umaabot, ay parang tawag dito, pag natutuyo siya, kasi pansin ko dito sa foundation na ito madali siya matuyo. So kailangan bro sa may pag-blend. And pag natuyo siya, bakat yung brush. Oh my god. Ang hirap niya ayusin. <laughs> so, yeah, let me finish this. As you can see, maputi talaga siya at first. Pero napansin ko sa kanya nag-oxidize siya. So, at the end of the day, um, nag uh, bumabagay naman siya sa aking balat. So, later, after applying this, I'll let you know what it claims aside from normal to oily. God. Hindi ko anong kukita nyo guys, pero... Sorry, hindi ko masyado mapakita sa inyo. Dahil sa camera. Phone na kasi gamit ko. So, so ngayon dahil sa tripod issue. 
So, ayun. Kanina naman nakita nyo na parang may something siya. So, that's why I use this one. Hindi pa ako nakakabili ng beauty blender. But, it will be perfect. Kapag beauty blender, ang ano, gamit. So, as I, um, by the way, when it comes to coverage, it's medium to full, depending on how you apply it. And depending on, ewan ko, depending on your skin. <laughs> Basta depending on you, how you apply it. Kasi, one, once ko, pag brush ang gamit ko, nag-medium coverage lang siya. Pero hindi nyo siya mapapansin ngayon dahil wala masyado kong blemishes dito. Hindi masyado. Dito ko siya, dito ko gumagamit ng sponge kasi meron ako mga peglet dito from my pimples. And so far, natatakpan naman niya kapag dinadab ko lang siya. But I think it will be better kung bumili na ako ng <laughs> beauty blender. So, I include my eye. Of course, my eyelid. Yan. So, um... One of it, one of the things that it claims, yes, it's matte finishing. Actually, it is. Para kang napakalight yung sa skin, na para kang nakapowder. Hindi mo na kailangan magset ng powder, or hindi mo na kailangan gumamit ng powdered or pressed powder just to set your foundation. Kasi hindi nag siya kailangan. Soft talaga siya skin. Ijo ko lang. Tipid tipid. So actually. Nagamit ko na siya since December. And so far, when it comes to matte finishing, yes, it is matte finishing. Nasabi ko na yung kanina. At kahit, kasi, noong una, medyo nahirapan ako sa coverage niya. Gusto ko kasi makuha yung full coverage niya. So, may mga times na dinadouble coat ko siya. Noong gumagamit pa ako ng brush. But with this one, It will be better kung bumili kayo ng uh, beauty blender, guys. Kasi with this one, nagang perfect siya yung pagka-apply. Tingnan nyo. Ikaw lang. Pero parang mas maputi dito. No? Guys, mas maputi yung isa. Lang, ba't ba kasama titipid ng foundation? So, yun nga. Um, kanina, dami kong nalagay sa ano ko, kamay ko ng foundation. Pero naubos siya ng brush kasi nga, ang, ang hirap, ang hirap niya i-blend pag brush. Ikaw lang sa brush ko ba? Kung may naririnig kayo notification sound, please disregard. Galing na sa phone ko. So, I'll quote it. Ano, I'll do a second coat para pumatay sa kabila kasi baka naman maging chinchan sa yung kabila kasi yung isa parang wala lang, di ba? Pangat naman nun. but parang pangat na quality ng camera na to for for video? Actually, I bought another phone. A new phone. It's Oppo. Kasi naglaro na lately. Kaya na ako lang maglaro kasi nag-work na ako. Medyo, medyo tricky yung work ko. So, wala ako maglibang. Kaya nagbumila ko ng gaming phone. Oh, so far. <laughs> Mapantay naman na siya. So, I do it, I'll do it on my neck. Kasi meron akong discoloration talaga, talaga tawag ko yun. Ayun mo, medyo itimin dito ko. I don't know why. Hindi naman ako pala, hindi ko naman sinusuot ng matagal yung lace ko sa work. Pero, basta katabaan to. Ano yung kulay ng leg ko, guys? Pero sa bato ko, hindi naman ako, hindi naman maitim bato ko, guys. Fortunately, hindi siya maitim. Okay, so medyo pinapatay ko na lang. I'll dab, ano, I'll do it on my lips as well. Bakit? Kasi, minsan kapag nag-lip tint ako, nahihirapan akong um, i-apply yung lip tint ko. Pag dito kasi medyo may itim yung lips ko. Hindi yung mga nag si guys. Pero may itim na talaga lips ko. So, hihirapan yung lip tint na kumulay sa lips ko. Hakalangan parang canvas yung face natin. mag lip tint lang ako. So, ayan. Sinisimot ko na na yung mga foundation na sa kamay ko. Sayang naman. Pero kanina ang dami niyan. Naubos lang na sa brush. Guys, if you have any tips on how to apply foundation using brush, please let me know. I don't really, I don't really know how. 
so far. This is my first liquid foundation, actually. I don't use liquid foundation. But since, kailangan ko matry din for full coverage. Dahil dumadami na ang mga, ay, mga ano ko, peklat ko ba? But what I do like about this, na, I mean, kumpara sa beauty blender, kasi pwede, pag ganito, oh, ang dali na lang niya, ganyan, no? <laughs> I mean, life hacks. No, pag wala kang beauty blender, kumuha ka ng any sponge. You want sponge? God damn it. Ang pangit lang niya is sa nose. Yung may sa edges ng nose ko, mahirap siyang i-apply. So, kailang ganyan-ganyan ko pa. So, definitely, bibili ako ng beauty blender. Okay, so, I'll get back. I'll just finish my look. So, I'll let you know my thoughts. And I'll put pala na um, concealer. Pakita ko na lang sa inyo kung paano ko nalag... Or hindi. Ay, pakita ko na lang sa inyo. Let me pause this. Sorry guys, natagalan ako. So, hinanap ko na yung Fit Me Foundation. So, yes. Uh, my shade that... Uh, the shade that I'm using is 25 medium moyen. The fudge was that. So, hindi talaga ako... Hindi ko lang kung ano yung moyen. God... So, I'll just, I, what I do is I just apply it. As you can see, hindi masyadong light yung foundation ko. Guys, I'm so sorry. Hindi nyo ato masyadong makita yung difference ng skin tone niya or color niya. Pero, if in, in personal, alam mo talaga na mag, makakulay lang siya ng balat ko. Promise. And somehow, it, nag-oxidize nito yung concealer na to. So, ganyan lang. Hindi ako na siya na-apply. Kasi ayo, um, normally sa iba, they do, cons oh, oh, sorry, they apply concealer to highlight na rin yung features na yun. Ako, ayoko masyadong i-highlight yung banda. Kasi, um, in personal, malaki na talaga yung cheeks ko. Malaki ba? Malaki cheekbones ko. Tapos, kapag hinighlight mo pa ng bonggang-bongga, ay, oh na, ano na, kamusta na tayo? So, yan. Let me just dab it. As you can see, hindi ko siya, hindi ko siya, I mean, ganyan tas pinipunas. Pansin ko, pag, pag dab lang talaga ginagawa ko, uh, nakukuha ko yung coverage na gusto ko. Promise. Mukha akong multo. Guys, mukha akong multo sa camera na to. Sorry. Pero, I can assure you na brown naman ako sa personal. Gosh. I, I badly want to take a video na kasi. Kasi kung hintay ko pa yung tripod, Diyos ko Lord. Ano, ano pang buwan ako makakaano nyan. Makapag-video nyan. Tapos mahirap pa bumili ng battery ng camera ko. Nabubusan na ako. Ayan, see, nag-blend siya. It means, kapunay ko talaga siya, guys. Ba't ganun? Nakakapangit din ilaw. So, I'll just finish my look. I'll get back to you. And I'll let you know my thoughts. And also the claim. Ito. Hindi claim ng foundation na to. I'll be right back. <laughs> and we're back. So, um, tinapos ko na yung full face makeup ko. And as you can see, medyo nag... Oh my god, guys. Hindi ko may pakita sa inyo kung paano siya nag-oxidize. Pero, um, in person, nag-oxidize na siya. And, uh, pumapatay na siya sa skin tone ko. See? Bukod dito, kasi meron talaga akong discoloration dito. I don't know what's going on, but here, look at my skin. Unti-unti na siya nag-oxidize. And, uh, medyo highlighted yung part ko dito dahil uh, nag-bake ako. And, what I use for baking is, to be honest guys, it's a foundation. Crushed uh, foundation in white. <laughs> kasi hindi ko na siya ginagamit this is for Halloween, binili ng manager ko dati and then, um, nakita ko siya sa drawer ko so, dinurog ko siya, ginawa ko siyang baking and actually, it worked tumatag na yung foundation ko pa nung bibake ko it's just that, iba yung color niya for now but don't worry guys don't worry guys, pumapantay siya kinalaunan kasi na uh, medyo nag-oxidize yung foundation so masama yung um, yung I mean, sumasama yung pang bake ko doon. So, anyways, um, what I, I'll do first is I'll check here online what, uh, what do they claim about this foundation. So, let me just go ahead and search it right now. I'll be back. 
Okay, so ngayon nasa maybelline.com.ph ako. And so you can see it's all about Fit Me Foundation. So what it says here is, Benefits, ideal for normal to oily skin. Our exclusive matte foundation formula features micro powders to control shine and blur pores. I don't know guys if you can see, but yes, it doesn't show any pores as of the moment. And a uh, poor minimizing foundation, dermatology tested, all allergy tested, non comedogenic. Non comedogenic. So basically, it, it will be um, perfect for normal to oily skin and good thing to say oily and face go after a few hours so if you want to try we were gonna try this foundation I'll be out for probably four hours to five to see kung ano siya magtatagal but for now yes it's medium to full coverage depending on how you apply it um, when you dab it only um, when, when you use a beauty blender, it's definitely full coverage. Look at this. Kanina marami ko pekla dyan. It was covered. So basically, uh, for now, um, matte finishing siya. And I'll be back after a few hours to let you know what, um, what happened or I'll show you what happened after that. So it's 10.26. Oh my god. No, I got paper. So it's that red evolution of Emily. <laughs> so it's 10 26 p.m i'll be out so i'll be out for after three to four hours i'll be back and i'll let you know um konnichiwa ko after that so i'll be right back we're back so it's been a few hours since we tested our foundation on we started from 10 p.m 11 12 1 2 3 it's been five hours that this the foundation is, still, uh, is on on my face Again, sorry for the wallpaper. <laughs> Not a bother. Three. Again, that. Three twenty-five. Okay. So um, hindi ko na siya papatagalin kasi so um, tutulog na ako. And as you can see, what I found uh, uh found ni pa ako nag di pa ako nagre-retouch at all umalis ako pumunta ako Makati I traveled and I went back I ate I also watch movies so I've done a lot of things throughout uh, those 5 hours as you can see on the T zone meron tayong meron tayong on the T zone meron tayong may pagka oily part but here look Normally, kasi dito ako nagkakaroon ng oily skin and dito. Again, sa tip. Um, normal sa tip part katagay. And sa nose. But look at this. Um, matte finishing pa rin siya. I never did any retouch. And kapag hinawakan mo, I don't really see any... I mean, hindi ako nakaramdam ng oil. I don't have any tissue to blot my face if it's transferable or not. Sorry, but again, um, as you can see, matte finishing pa rin siya. That's why I love with this foundation. And uh, pros, and let's go to pros uh, pros and cons. Pros, um, perfect matte finishing. It's not that, um, it's not that, mm, what should call this? It's not that really hard to apply. It's just that madali siyang madry, pero gusto ko yun. Kasi hindi na ako may, um, I mean, hindi na ako mahirap um, matatagalan na hintayin yung foundation ko na mag-set. Also, it's cheap. Uh, comparing, uh, compare dun sa mga foundation na nagkakaroon din ng ganitong result, it's only 399 pesos as I've checked on their main website. But good for you if you have found or if you can find any website that it's on sale. And again, it's Maybelline Fit Me Liquid Foundation. Uh, also, uh, long-lasting, yes. For 5 hours, hindi na masama kasi napaka-oily ko. Uh, kapag pangat yung foundation itself, after 4 hours, oily na talaga ako na ako mag-blood. But as you can see, hindi siya gaan, siya shiny. Normal pa rin ako. <laughs> Normal pa rin ako. And again, it's perfect for me. You can um you can decide or you can do it, or do it by your... You can 
uh, make it medium coverage or full coverage depending on how you will apply which is perfect for me kasi normally mas gusto ko ng medium coverage gusto ko pa rin yung parang nakikita pa rin na balat siya and tingnan nyo kahit full coverage siya parang hindi ako naka foundation at all parang ito yung pinaka skin ko tingnan mo kita mo yung mga textures ng face ko kita pa rin yung parang alam mo kita pa rin yung skin mismo is just na cover yung mga blemishes that's what that is what I love here so even though magkaron mag a full coverage ako it's fine with me kasi mukha pa rin ako normal mukha ako hindi naka foundation and um cons um as I've said earlier it oxidizes so you might have a hard time choosing which is the right uh skin tone for you but uh, what I suggest, uh, just in case that you buy, look at the bo um, bottom na lang or um, yung sample na sa picture. Kasi kapag in-apply nyo sa balat nyo, sa store mismo, it, you might not have the the right skin tone or baka iba siya, ibang kulay niya sa skin, once in-apply siya sa skin rather than the bottle. So, yung bottle, I think, mas um, exact, or tawag naman, mas exact, or mas accurate siya. Kasi doon ako tumingin eh, binili ko siya online. So, mas accurate yung bottle kaysa doon sa uh, pagka-apply mo sa balat. I tried it on my skin and it, it doesn't really look right. Sorry, sorry for this kasi nakapagtulog na ako. So, it doesn't really look right at the first, uh, the first place. So, look at the bottle. And also the pictures that they have, like an example, on their website. So that will be a perfect tip. Um, and it's, it doesn't have a pump. So you might have, a, a, you know, it might not be convenient when you are applying it. Um, and what I do is I'm putting the foundation here. So, minsan, like, masyadong marami. Minsan, masyadong monte. So, hindi ko nakukontrol agad. But I think that's that's all. Everything was perfect. And I don't know, I don't, I don't know to you guys, but for me, this is my holy grail when it comes to foundation. Kasi, I'm more into natural look, okay? Or natural look. Not on my makeup itself, but when it comes to foundation. Kasi, Ayoko talaga na magmukhang cakey. And again, it, uh, by the way, it's not cakey at all. It, it's really not. I look natural when it comes to my foundation. So, yes, so that's it. That's all, so my, that's all my thoughts about it. And I hope you like it. If it's very helpful, please like the video. You can subscribe as well for more makeup or food reviews, of course. And comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions when it comes to, especially when it comes to applying foundation using brush. Because yeah, I don't really know how to. So, um, I, uh, I think uh, that's it. See you guys to next week. See you guys soon. And um, I hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.